In this tutorial I will cover two effects with a photograph. One is the vignette and the other is turning the, the graphics into a sepia. I'll load the image of a little girl was taken about 12 months ago and we'll turn it into an older type of photograph. The first thing we need to do is create a new layer. Create a new layer and it needs to be a transparency. Now we've got our new layer, I'll make go to the ellipse tool and drag an oval around the little girl. I go to select and I'll invert my selection. That puts the marching ants outside of the oval. I go to select and select feather. Now depending on the size of your image uh, is the number of pixels. You can change the uh, pixels by inches or whatever you choose. I'll use pixels this time. I'll make it 200 pixels because it's got a reasonably large image. I click OK. Now I'll go to the bucket tool bucket fill tool and change my foreground to white. Now I paint in outside the oval which is uh, we've already reversed it by inverting. And there's my vignette effect. Now I go to uh, select and select none and then I go to image and flatten image. Now this is the second stage. I'm going to go to colors and colorize. This is going to change it into the uh, sepia effect. I just turn the hue down to around about 30 within that vicinity and you'll see the, the sepia effect come in. I click OK. Now I go to filters I go to enhance and I'm going to use the unsharpened mask and really bring out the real hardness within that photograph. The reason being in days of old when they had photographs they used to pencil a lot around the eyes to make them more prominent. So I'll just move up the radius, the amount, by about four, that'll OK and hit OK and GIMP goes through and does this unsharpen. Now GIMP's unsharpened it and it's given the effect of an old style type of photograph. Even the furniture in the background now doesn't fit the period that was the photograph was taken in which was 12 months ago. So that's our tutorial. Covered two, uh, two subjects there. The vignette which is the effect around the edge of the photograph and also the sepia effect and the unsharpened to give it that old-fashioned look. So uh, please subscribe and rate the video.